Welcome to another edition of the Pantone 294 Podcast. Uh, I, I'm getting ready for barbecues. I don't know about you guys, because Memorial Day weekend is literally a few days from... from I do carne asadas. I love hot dogs. That, that's, uh, again, with the hot dogs. Just not red, right? Just not red. Just not red. <laughs> Just not red. Not the ones from Mexico. <laughs> she ate it, though. <laughs> if, you know, if you do not know what we're talking about, check out the podcast, episode 10, when we had on uh, Eric Vasquez. Yes. And uh, we, you'll know what we're talking about. But today... We have another special guest here in studio at the Pantone 294 Studios. You, if you're a, a fan of comedy and if you know who a lot of the local comedy acts are, you will definitely recognize who this gentleman is. He has appeared in... I'm not even going to go down your resume because you've, <laughs> you've been all over the place, Too brother. many to mention. Yeah, you're too many to mention. So please um, give him a follow. First of all, his name is Alfred Robles. Give him a follow on Instagram at Alfred Robles. Thank you for joining us today on the podcast. And thank you guys for having me. And I'm just going to say this. I'm vegetarian. You guys are talking about carne, and carne salad, and are hot dogs. Are you really dogs. vegetarian? Yes. I'm so sorry. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> what made you yeah. be a vegetarian? Wow. Well, in 2012, I gave up red meat. I okay. was just eating fish because I was having back problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after I, after I stopped eating red meat, all my back problems went away. Really? I don't know if it was a coincidence, but mm -hmm. I'm going to say it was because of red meat. Really? Wow. Yeah. Were you on a diet? Uh, I just didn't eat red meat. Just, no, just I, red meat. People say a diet. No, I was eating Doritos still, everything, candy, just, <laughs> just not just red, like red kind meat. Of yeah, diet. Cake and thaw. <laughs> just not just red meat, bro. And and all my back issues went away. You know what? I've heard a lot of people say that. And so yeah. so then after you, you gave up red meat, what followed? Uh, I was just eating fish, and then I went fish and chicken, and in 2017, I said no more meat. Like at all, wow. at all. So now you're just doing salad. Just doing salad and tofu and fake meat and and did, it's good. Did uh, Ricky from Ten Goose Boxes you put you on this diet, bro? Is that <laughs> no, he used to make fun of me, bro. <laughs> Ricky, uh, shout out to Ten Goose, Ricky Funes. Yeah. He used to make fun of me because I was vegetarian. What kind of Mexican are you, Vato? <laughs> <laughs> so you can have the rice, the beans, just no meat. Yeah, just no meat. Okay. Yeah, I'm not vegan. I'm just vegetarian. Just vegetarian. I still, I still love dairy and cheese. Okay, I was, that was my okay. next question. Yeah. Queso fresco. Yeah. No, yeah, queso uh, fresco. You can't. Yeah, that's, can't it's harder it. to eat queso fresco than meat. To me. Right, right. Um, was it? I know it probably was hard at the beginning. No, it was easy. What? Yes, How? it's it's You're easier. Mexican. It's easier than what you think it is, bro. It's all in the mind, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Where I used to live, I used to live by the original King Taco. Okay. Oh. And I was craving King Taco, but I said, I'm just going to go to King Taco. The one on third? No, the original one is the one on Cyprus and uh, and, um, and and Northeast LA. That's the first one. Okay. So uh, the the I, I was craving King Taco and I just used to go in and just get like a, a piña, bro, a drink. <laughs> okay. And then my cravings would go away. <laughs> so it's all in the mind, bro. It's oh, all in the wow. mind. Very, very cool. Yeah, to me, it was easy. I'm, 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 I'm saying it's easy to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's easy to everybody. But right. To me, it was easy. As I well. mean, I go to sleep and I dream of like nice, big, juicy steaks. You know, I dream of Dodger dogs. I think it'd be a little difficult for me. You're making it hard for him right now. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's all good. I, cr I used to crave more like mariscos than, uh, oh, yeah. than meat, though. Okay. okay. Than red meat, mm -hmm. like ceviche and. and Is and, ostiones considered meat? Uh, yeah. ah, that's, that's a tough good. one, right? Because tough it's the pork rind. No, 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 no oysters. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, cause, cause even um, um, hyvas considered me, and that's fake crab. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm probably, I'm pretty sure oysters is considered me too. Cause uh, I checked everything, bro. Cause my mom makes the bomb ass hyva, and I looked it up, and I was still kind of meat. Well, when she makes it, <laughs> feel free to bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're wrenching oysters. Fr friend of the show, uh, Renee Garcia. I don't know if you know comedian Renee Garcia. Yes, from um, from Houston. Yeah, from Houston. Yeah. Like we don't discuss him on yeah. this podcast. He's banned anymore. from the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I know why. Like, I don't know why like, they brought him up. He, he's not allowed on our yeah, podcast. What the, bro, <laughs> well, the reason why I bring him up is because he has a good oyster joke. Does well, he? Yeah, because he's talking about uh, eating those oysters, <laughs> and he's like, "If you ever had them, just uh, hawk a loogie. It's the same thing." Is yeah. No, no good, it's not the same. good no. guy, just Astros fan. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, when you said, I'm like, is that the same Rene Garcia? <laughs> yeah. Why would you bring him up, bro? We're all Rocky Dodger stuff, Lakers stuff, bro. That, 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 and, and that's my segue. So let's talk about you. And <laughs> you're a diehard Dodger fan. Yes, I am. And unfortunately, it, we we fell short Game Seven of the World Series. He's still wearing that Dodger take, World Series fit. Huh? Which I love. So, so, so take me through your your thoughts. Yeah, Where were bro. you? I was there. I was at the game. You were at the game, and nice. I wore the same clothes Which for one? Game Six. I was at every home game. 
Okay. Yeah. So I, it was me and a couple of buddies, and I'll do this wear the same clothes we wore for games. Superstition. Day. Yes. Of and course. we went and we died, bro. <laughs> I cried. But I cried. I, I was crying. I cried. I, my friends left. I stood to the end when 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 Houston received the trophy. The I was there, bro. That crying. Was hard. What section were you? The reserve. Okay. Yeah, I was up right in the middle, now, so I saw everything because it was right. That you was... wanted to see the ceremony, like, respect, or you just couldn't. No, because just... of the traffic. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> of the traffic, you know, because of the traffic. But uh, you know what? It was there, so I'm gonna watch it, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, it... shout I out to Houston, we, but we left right when no, they were proposing. No. Yeah, when yeah. Okay, yeah. When he proposed, yeah. that's yeah. when we started walking out. So we went to every single World Series game, like away we as well. One, in, uh, all seven. Wow. I want to say it was the most amazing experience, but heartbreaking experience. At Especially the game time. five. Yeah. That wow. game five. That it was game. like back and forth, back that's and forth. Match. It was so late over there. So late. Yeah. Game five, that's when they went to the extra inning? Yeah. 13 yes. innings? Yeah. Like, we were in um, El Paso, Texas watching that game. Oh, at wow. a bar, bro. <laughs> Where you dodge it out? Yes, yeah, so we did a show. Oh we did a show, and Gabriel's like, "Let's go get something to eat." I'm like, "Dude, let's make sure they have a f***ing TV. I want to watch Game Five." And the only the only place they had a, a TV was at this bar, and we we had to eat bar food. So we were there watching the game, bro, and it was crazy, dog. You know, after the game, we ended we ended up at it was like maybe three in the morning. We're at a oh, Denny's yeah. or 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 International Ham. House. Denny's. It was Denny's. Denny's, I believe. We were just like so bummed out. You see some Astro Falls making fun of us, right? We're right. like, whatever. We, we went in the mood. We started <laughs> eating. And then the Astro fans come, comes over. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take care of your bill. He paid, no. for, every, he paid yeah. for everything. Paid yeah. for everything. Wow. So I was like, you know what? That was the Bring day. me extra pancakes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> extra butter. That, that was the day to take advantage of Astro fans. Yes. They were happy. You know what? They were really nice. <laughs> I, I'm not no, going they, nice. they, they were nice. They were extremely nice. Awesome stadium. Great food. Oh. Good yeah, food. Texas always has good food, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, yes, as Dodger fans, we wanted them to win, but what that city went through with that hurricane. No, no, that's not an I mean? excuse, bro. <laughs> no, hell no. Let them go through it again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, dog? We haven't won in 88, dog. It's no, a long time. I, 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 30 years. I, I, completely, I completely understand. I get it. I would have loved to have the Dodgers win it. And I hate fans that say that, bro. I'm not saying you're saying it. The same thing happened in, in NFL for the Saints when, no, when the whole was, Katrina. But that was five and years then, after, though. No, no, they no, won no, that no. same year. But, and Look, it up. Was, Look it up. It was five years after. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Trust me, bro. I argue all the time with Houston fans. Right. That's their excuse. Could, could, so Katrina happened, and then five years later, the Saints won? Yeah. No. Three or five. Yeah, yeah, look it up. No, we're going to look it up Katrina right now. happened in 2009. Yeah, I, I think 2005. Saints... New Orleans Super Bowl. We're, we're, we're checking oh, it. Okay. That's what I was so saying. Katrina happened in 2005. Okay, and okay. the Saints, when they won the Super Bowl. Thank you. <laughs> it could have been 2010. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey, when oh. you argue, bro, you, you're supposed to know hey, all these facts, I didn't bro. go against you. No, no, not you. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of Houston fans said the same thing to me. The like, get the f*** <laughs> out. It was five years later. <laughs> <laughs> um, But th there have been... No, no, what? What else? A Boston mar Marathon. The Red Sox won the World Series that year. Okay, after World Trade, the Yankees didn't win the series, did they? But, no. the, but the Patriots won the Super Bowl. Hmm, a Patriot, a Patriot team. I, I, the conspiracy. So basically, you're you saying really, this is you rigged. Really, if you really want to, no, no, I'm not saying it's rigged. But I'm just saying, if you really want to <laughs> dive in, you can really make a, a story for the conspiracy <laughs> theorists. That's no, all I'm saying. No, you <laughs> can't, bro. No, no. no. the Diamondbacks won it in 2001 after 9/11. Um, Yankees, Yankees could have won Game Yankees Seven. Could have won, yeah, won in Game Gonzalo Seven. Didn't make that hit, the Yankees remember? did make the World Series, though, right? But, but they didn't win. win. But they didn't win. But they didn't win. Which. They had been winning. The Yankees had right. been winning. Yeah, yeah. So right. it was kind of like, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. My, my family's hard hardcore Yankee fans. Uh. I know. I know. Growing up was a little strange, but it's okay. I'm a Dodger fan. Are you? It's still a tough pill yeah. to swallow, especially yeah, the way the Dodgers are playing now. So it's just... just as, yeah. as you can see, bro, I'm still hurt, bro. <laughs> oh, I... I it, it took me from November 1st, which was Game 7, so let's November 2nd. I did not watch Sports Center, ESPN, Dodgers website, Dodgers chat, anything until maybe opening day. I wow. could not watch sports. I didn't care about sports. I'm a big Raider. I even went to Mexico City to go watch the Raiders lose against the who do we lose against? The Houston. No, the the, the, no, it was the Patriots. We the lost Patriots. against right, the Patriots. Right, right. I didn't care. I right. didn't care. I was not in sports. I didn't care. It's like I'm it still hurts. It still hurts. Yeah, it does. 
Because we don't know if we're going to go. We're ever. Gonna, you no, might not ever no. go back ever. No. You no. never know. Look at the Cubs. Oh, 108 years, right? Yeah. I mean, we hope we go back. Absolutely. But Obviously, with, this, with, the, with the management that we have, they want to win. So we'll be back. But you might never know. It might, might not go back. <sighs> we thought this was probably the year and the way things are going. Yeah. And the crazy Who part knows? is I have a lot of fans from Houston and they talk. They still talk. I mean, oh, <laughs> they still talk. It was a little hard when Rene Garcia came on. Uh, we were man. like, how could he be our first guest? I Are sold him out. Was, I he I, a, was he wearing a hat? I, I, no, no, no. no, no. He was, Luckily, he was protected because he was over the phone. He was a phone oh, guest. okay, okay. Yeah. He was a phone guest. Yeah, yeah. I would have f***ing this. <laughs> that service, bro! <laughs> I did. I, <laughs> listen to I, I, I sold out. I don't remember the interview. No, that's good. Yeah, that's good I, I, I'm, I'm an honest person. I'm an open book guy. I, I don't remember the interview. <laughs> Why would you want to have him as your first guest, though, dude? Because he was a cool guy. You know, there was a reason behind it. I, I forget. Well, I think we talked about the World Series and... Oh, okay. okay. So... Yeah. Like, Astros' point of view. Astros' point of view. Dodgers' point of view. Yeah, but for the first and, episode, and, and, bro. It wasn't the first episode. Okay, okay. No, okay, no, no, okay. no. He was the first guest, but he wasn't yeah. the first in-studio guest. Okay, okay. First in-studio guest. Ned Coletti. Ned Coletti. Oh, right. shit. Yes. Yes. You nice guy, be, right? Yeah. You will soon be on our ball of walls. So you'll be, you, you'll, you'll be our fourth in-person guest. Orale. Thank you, guys. Man. There you go. Wait. Ball of walls? Wall of balls. Wall of balls. Ball, ball of walls. Ball of balls. Wall of balls. Yeah, wall of balls. We'll ball figure it out. <laughs> so, so how'd you get started in comedy, man? Let's take it back. Let's take okay, it back. Um, I started so in wait, 2002. So wait, I have a better question. Okay, okay. What go. made you want to be a cop? Oh, sh**. Uh, Wait, you're I, a I cop? Did my no, I wasn't a cop. I was in the police academy, but yeah. I got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait. So, so you could have been a cop right now yeah. had you not had getting kicked out. Correct. Right, yeah. so tell us what happened. Uh, getting kicked out, or or yeah, well, 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 one, thing? why, why Wait, did you what? want to become? And, yeah. And well, cause, cause when you were growing, well, growing up in the you 90s grew up in East LA, right? East LA well, what part of East LA? I lived right there on Cesar Chavez and Rowan. Okay. Oh, my daughters go to Rowan Elementary. Oh yeah, I used to live up the hill. Yeah. And then. uh we moved to Montebello, my parents separated, and we moved to Montebello. And uh, back then, there was no internet, so it was easier to become a cop than a, a comedian. Because you don't know, what, how, how do you become a comedian when you're a kid <laughs> and there's no internet? You don't know. Yeah. You know, so I was like, and the easiest thing is to become a cop. My friends were cops, so I went to the police academy. But ever since I was a little kid, I used to write jokes. And that was my, that was my number one passion. But I just didn't know how to become a comedian, so I'm gonna become a cop. So I went uh, to the police academy, I went to Rio Hondo in 2000. And I got DQ'd because my ex girlfriend put a restraining order on me. Oh, oh. wow. Now, so what did you at do? that point, you were probably angry, but now was it a blessing in disguise? Yes. And blessing it, in disguise. And it's, it's crazy, bro, because when you I got talk kicked to her? out. No, I don't even know what happened to her. <laughs> no, but the crazy it. part is that she hit me up on Facebook. Like, <laughs> Can I get some tickets? <laughs> like five years ago. Can like, you introduce me to Fluffy? <laughs> five years ago, she hit me up on Facebook, bro. And at first, I didn't recognize her. She got all fat, bro. Uh, <laughs> I didn't recognize her. I'm like, who's? But I remember the name. I remember the name. I go, this is the chick that put the restraining order on me. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's hilarious. Okay, so restraining order. Oh, no, no, hold on. I'm not dumb, bro. So, uh, <laughs> The crazy part is that she used to call me, bro, and I got kicked out, and she used to leave messages like, I'm the reason why you're not a cop. And she just, just oh, oh, yes. And that shit used to oh. hurt, bro. Wow. That used to hurt, dog. Oh. Yeah. But now, and, and now and I, I wish I could call her, hey, thank you. Yes, yeah, exactly. you know? And now thank you can call her and say, because yeah. of you, I'm a comedian. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. now, so, I Successful mean. Comedian. Successful comedian. Successful yes. comedian. So I don't, I don't want to look back and put too much energy, so that's why I never accepted her or, or, or left her message yet, you know? Yeah. I mean, I really wanted to talk, but not. Nah. So moving forward, you like writing on, on, on paper, doing jokes. How did yeah. that transcend, oh, obviously, the in social media now, YouTube, right. the internet? It's way easy, dog. Social media is making it easier for us. Like way easier. Well, it's easier, but it's also hard because. As far as why? Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. So, a, com, a movie you can well, go and watch a movie over and over and over again. For a for a comedian, right. the joke, the punchline, that's your bread and butter. And if right. the joke is already making it on social media, when I go see you in person, I heard this joke already. That's why a lot of a lot of shows now they don't let you have the phones in there. They don't because they want to preserve the joke so that it's it's new to the next show to the next person that comes sees it. I think. I think to a, a point you're right, but I think if you do like three or four jokes are still cool Like if the majority of the shows new is cool and you still throwing like a couple of old jokes right. I think you're still well, good. you still gotta do the hits. Yeah, you know, people you know, will, will remember you for a particular You just don't want to do the same show over and over right. and over right, you know, so to a point you're you're right. I know huh? Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? 
Look, to, he's to, a Dodger fan as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, bro? Exactly, the exact same joke. I was, That's the same I joke. was thinking. <laughs> so, so I, I understand what you're saying, but dude, my first joke I ever wrote, I said it on Comedy Central on season one of Stand Up Revolution, mm -hmm. and I was just proud because they used to go over our material. So, and then they used to tell, don't do this joke in Comedy Central. Don't do this joke. And when they said, oh, you're able to do this joke, I was f***ing happy because I, I wrote this joke when I was in high school. That's so and that's awesome. the only reason why I wanted to do it because that's one of the first jokes I wrote and I remember. Nice. What was the joke? I said, uh, I want a girl that reminds me of my report card. Her face has to be an A. She has to, she has to have double Ds because tonight I want an F. Just a f***ing simple <laughs> little f***ing joke, bro. And I was just f***ing happy that they approved it. I'm like, dude. And Gabriel's like, you don't even do this joke. Yeah, I know, but it's more like, it's more personal. <laughs> it's a, you, know? <laughs> you know, I wrote this joke when I was Dang. young, dog. Oh okay. my God. So, girlfriend restraining order, ex-girlfriend. Right. You're like, okay, I'm pretty sure at that moment you were devastated. Yeah. Because you couldn't continue in the academy. What, what was next? I was all like, I was hurt for a while. I still used to dress up on my, uh, with my, uh, with my uniform. And I used to hide, bro, because I was scared of my mom. Oh. Like, and to my Everybody. neighbor saw me at the mall, bro. <laughs> my neighbor saw me at the mall, and when I came home, my mom right away. And I was already old. I was like 20, 21. Hey, it's Mexican mom, yeah. right away. The flying chocla. Alfredo, ¿dónde estabas? And I was in the school, I was in the academia. No, no, ya te miraron, and this and that. I'm like, f it. So I had to come clean right there. <laughs> yeah. But I told my mom because it was a DUI. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, you, you, so you told your mom about DUI yeah. instead of telling her it was a restraining order? Yeah, because that's more, I don't know, I don't want to look like that. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 run out of maniaco, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but then after, I got busted for the DUI. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I beat it, bro, so we're good. <laughs> so how did, where, wait, wait, when wait, did wait, you begin? How'd you, how'd you beat a DUI? I got pulled over and I wasn't drunk, but my hands shake. That's the way I was born. Oh, and, it's me too. I get nervous. Yeah, I start shaking. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the cop thought I was drunk. And then he was like, no, you're drunk, you're shaking. I go, dude, I was born like this. And then he arrested me for a DUI for driving under the influence. And I took a urine test, but I passed it. I wasn't drunk. So you weren't drunk? No. Oh. But I got arrested for a DUI. Got it. Okay. Yeah. He thought I was drunk. He thought, okay. okay. Good. Yeah, and then I took a urine test. And then I went to court and they're like, no, you came out on positive. Negative, I'm sorry. Yeah, negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you came out negative and they, I, the, the charges are dropped. That's crazy. All right, what was your, your question, Des? Oh, no, I was just going to say, like, after that, when was it, how much longer after that incident did you become? Like, maybe like six months after. Six months. Oh, right yeah. after. Right and after. what was, what, what led to that? I was like, dude, let me go to what I really wanted to do. And mm -hmm. now I started Brand seeing shows. people doing shows at bars and yeah. stuff like that. So you so started like, doing yeah, open mics? I started doing open mics. Did you ever do an open mic show at a Hollow's Bar in Anaheim? Yes. I used to promote for that with Ernie. With Ernie, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Ernie. He does another bar in, An in Anaheim, right? Uh, I don't. I, I haven't touched base with them in years. Yeah. But that's where I kind of started doing promoting for comedy shows. I saw Jeff Garcia there. Right. Right. Uh, rest in peace to Dickie Fuller, who just passed yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if uh, I probably came across you back then. I didn't even... Yeah, yeah, I was there, bro. That's um. Didn't the Angel guy die around there? Or, or remember he died in a car accident? No, that the happened in Fullerton. And yeah. that was um. Oh, he was leaving that bar or something, right? Uh, no, he was on the way to downtown Fullerton, I think. Mm. Yeah. I think of it. The pitcher, right? Yeah, yeah the pitcher. Because I remember they connected him to the Hollows bar. For really? Yeah, I remember that. I don't oh, know I if he know. was leaving Hollows or he just came from Hollows. Yeah, that's the reason why I remember that bar because of the angel pitcher. Alfred, I've been staring at this picture since yesterday. Where is that picture from? That's in New York, bro. We were doing a uh, promotion for uh, for uh, Gabriel's uh, Fluffy Breaks Even show on Fuse. They told me to do like a silly face. And uh, that's the only thing I could. Uh, that was tell, silly. Uh, I was hungover like though. iPhone 6, Can't you can tell. tell. You can tell it's iPhone 6. Couple I don't, years. I, I don't know. Yeah, that, that was in 2016, uh, bro. Two years ago. Two years ago. Uh, that was in my phone. That was uh, the people from uh, from Fuse uh, phone. I was I was hungover, bro. The only thing I remember is that watch, dude. I don't even know where that fucking watch is at, bro. <laughs> Where'd you lose it? I didn't I didn't lose it because I don't lose it, bro. But your dad. that was like like I remember I paid uh, almost five hundred bucks, and that was the most expensive watch I ever had. So that's why I fucking remember, and it was all and it's it's a badass watch, bro. Look at that shit, dude. That's the first. I go, dude. What happened to that watch, dog? Thank you, dog. There you go. <laughs> Sorry for bringing back sure, a bro. bad memories there. So open mics. Open mics. You started doing the open mics. Then 
I the first open mic I did, I f sucked, bro. I sucked. Uh, See, some I didn't, people. Uh, I didn't know how to structure jokes. Okay. So I was just like trying to say jokes, and uh, like I didn't really have punchlines. I didn't know what an opener and a closer was. So I was just going up with what I thought was funny. And I was dying, bro, for five minutes, bro. No. Did game, you get no. booed? No. But the funny part was nobody was laughing. It was all quiet, and the cholo goes. I was wearing a button-up shirt. I remember those old-school shirts that had flames in the bottom. I was wearing that <laughs> shirt, and that cholo goes, "You're on fire, bro!" <laughs> and I didn't have a comeback. All I said was, "Hey, thank you, bro." <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, dog. Yeah, so it was hard. It was hard. The first couple of times was. Uh, I remember uh, it took me seven months to go up my second time. Oh, oh really? Right, because I thought I sucked. I'm like, dude, this is. What am I? What am I doing, bro? I'm I the only funny yeah. around my friends and. The, the comedian that does the roast, I think it's Jeff Ross. Yeah. Uh, he said the first time he went up, he killed. It was a great show. Right. But after that, he bombed like a bunch of times. Right. Um, and that's what I was going to ask you that. Like, how, how was your experience? the first time you were, you were doing your comedy shows. Yeah, and uh, I'll still go to shows, and people ask, do you want to go up? I go, no, I don't think I'm ready again. I go, but you have to do it, though. Mm -hmm. You have to do it. Yeah, but I don't think it's time yet. What was your breakthrough? Uh, meeting Gabriel Iglesias. At a young, maybe like two years into comedy, I met him at a bar in Montebello. Was he drunk? Oh my no, God, no, no, wait, no. wait, wait. Because he always talks he, about being drunk and taking no. shots left and He's right. He's Eminem in 8 Mile. What? How? Oh, because he's the comedian of Eminem and 8 Mile. What comedian? Well, because he bombed his first one, but then at the end he went back out and he killed him. Oh, yeah, he crushed. Yeah. Uh, I threw a mom's fideo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had, I had to make that reference. Yeah. Like, she so, 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 so we're at, we're at a bar <laughs> in Montebello. Montebello. We used to do comedy there every Wednesdays and Saturdays. It was called Tortillas, Wild Coyotes, and now it's called. I think it's a El Pescador now. It's across the street from Beverly Hospital. I met Gabriel there. And Gabriel was about to blow up. He was already famous. He was already selling out uh, clubs only. And he pulled me aside. He goes, dude, you're funny, bro. He goes, you're, you're different from every other Latino comics. But you cuss a lot and you use a lot of local references. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that shit and I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. And then at me, I was all like... That's the only time I get laughs, bro. <laughs> you don't want me to get laughs, bro. You know, and the gay's gonna kill you right now because after he's gonna go edit, he's gonna go beep, beep, beep. beep, beep, beep. No, this, no, this, this is going strictly for podcasts. Yeah. This, this, this. And and then I was like, oh, he was. I want you to see the bigger picture, bro. Mm. And at first I didn't get it, and they go, okay, let me let me start doing what he did, and it helped help me out. I mean, I performed all over the world now. No, uh, uh, we've, we've gone to Asia, Australia, the Middle East, Europe. What's been the best show, best country, best audience? Staples Center. Nice. LA? LA. 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 Could you, do you throw a lot of LA reference? No, it's just, it's just doing a big show knowing that you're the first Mexican comedian to go up on stage at, at the nice. Staples Center. Nice. That's amazing. Who have you performed with besides, besides Fluffy? Chappelle, uh, Kevin Hart, um, Bill Burr. Bunch of them. But the top of my head, those only guys that I, I can bring up. When you I first remember. started doing comedy, I mean, of course, you try to sky's the limit. I want to be very successful. I want to be, but realistically, like, what did you want your your five year plan to be when you first started doing comedy? You know what, bro? All I wanted to do was headline clubs, cause that's all I knew. And Gabe was the one that opened my eyes. He goes, dude, there's bigger shit out there, not just to be a headliner at clubs. You know, and then he was like, you could do this and you could do that. And he's been um, helping me out for a while now, dude. What and do you think's like the best advice that Fluffy has given you? To be clean. To be clean. To be clean. And it makes you more, um, and to, to not to use Spanish. Because he goes, if you lose Spanish, you're going to lose a lot of, um, a lot of fans. Not fans, but you're going to lose them at, you're going to lose a lot of people in the crowd. Because mm -hmm. if you do a show in, in, like in the middle of America. Right. They don't know if Spanish. Yeah, that's true. Goes, Know your place. It's oh, yeah. cool to know Spanish, to do Spanish like at bars and stuff like that. But don't get used to it. You're going to get used to it. And then I'm going to take you to Wisconsin. I'm going to take you there. And you're going to want to use that Spanish as a crutch. And, you know, and there's no Latino there. Yeah, that is true. You got to know your audience. Yeah, yeah, and it's true. And it's helped me. Dude, I, man, now that I look back, bro, I've been to all 50 states. 
and I've been to like maybe like 13 countries. Wow, that's amazing. That's crazy. And, and not everybody can say that. No, you know. No, so that's no, why no. I'm like, I, I was, I was thankful that Gabriel gave me that advice at a young, at a young um, age. As far as how, how long, how long have you been working with him? <sighs> a little bit over 10 years. Wow. Yeah. So you guys have kind of like grown. Yes. Grown yes. together. He's been doing comedy 21 years. I've been doing comedy 16 years. Oh wow. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing it for a while. I think I saw him perform at Hollows. Uh, oh yeah, probably like years ago. Mm. So, um, so the um, the comedy started taking off. Right. Um, I, 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 you did some shows too, right? It's a, or was it just Fluffy that was doing the shows uh, on, on Fuse? No, yeah, I was on. I was on. Uh, you were also on the yeah, show, right? On the, on the... So how was that experience? It was cool, bro. It was cool. We, we, what we used to do is, um, it was a show called Fluffy Breaks Even. Mm -hmm. So we used to go eat, and then we used to work the, we, we used to work out the next day, and try to burn out all that we ate. <laughs> now this is before you turn into a, a vegan. No, or a, veg or a vegetarian. vegetarian. I was um, the last season. I was a vegetarian, I think. Okay. Yeah, but the first two seasons, um, I wasn't eating meat, but I was still eating chicken. Okay. So on the on the episodes where there was chicken, I'll be in them. The episodes where there, there were no chicken or no fish, I wouldn't be in them. Yeah. Like the one in Vegas, it was only uh, nothing but hamburgers and hot dogs. So I wasn't. I didn't partake in that. Oh. That's great. Yeah. Speaking of Vegas, you're going to be in Vegas Memorial Day weekend. Where yes, be... I'll be this weekend. We'll be at the Mirage Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 10 p.m. shows. Nice. There you go. So tickets are still on sale? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> no. Well, Gable sells out. No, no, no. That's true. You want it to be sold out. Yeah, I want it to be sold yeah. out. That, that, that is true. Sold out, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. But I'll be there if you want to say what's up. Stop by. I'll be at the buffet. <laughs> now, now, being that you've been working with Fluffy for 10 years, um, obviously, when you have a co-worker, uh, it becomes more than a friendship. It's like, it becomes family. Right. Do you consider him um, part of it as well? Yes. Uh, and then also, we live in a tour bus for six months. Right. Yeah. So, the tour bus is kind of small. Mm -hmm. And I see Gabriel. You guys got to share the restroom yes. and everything. Yes. I see Gabriel. I was with them last night and yesterday. So I, we, we give each other time, but <laughs> we're, we're, we became good friends, man. Real mm -hmm. good. And Gabe is the type of guy where you could just call him and he'll answer. You could text him. He's there and stuff like that. Oh, give yeah. us his number. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, dude, not just because I work with him. Gabriel's one of the nicest guys I ever met. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I attended one of his shows maybe about five years ago, and he waited to the yes. very end yes. of all the fans to get an autograph and a picture with picture. him. Like literally an hour and a half, two hours after a show was already over. So, yeah, yeah, no, you can tell yeah. the dude was very, very mm -hmm. humble. The first year we did, uh, remember the um, oh, the Gibson? Remember the Gibson Happen Theater? Yes. Mm -hmm. The first year we did it, he waited, and there's like I think it's six, it holds six thousand and five hundred, oh and he gosh. told the audience, whoever wants to take a picture for free, I'll stay to the end. Maybe that was it. That was it. Oh my gosh, that might have been it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he waited, bro. That's crazy. And he's a big dude. Nope. <laughs> oh, he lost weight. Well, he, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. he's still a big dude. Ricky Funes is putting him through that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Shout out to Ricky Funes again. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, so Fluffy has his Volkswagen collection. What do you have? What's your collection? I thought I had a watch collection. <laughs> I don't no, apparently not, right? No, just no. Dodger hats, bro. Dodger hats? Dodger hats. Yeah. Lots of tears. Yeah, so lots Dodger of tears. Hats. So do, you get, do you get discount on hats? No, you know my brother. You know what? That's where I was yeah. going. So for uh, Gabe um, and everybody listening, his brother and my brother work together. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, be I believe, I, I, I don't want to put him down. I believe my brother is his boss. Okay. I think because my brother's a manager at the store. And, um, and it's funny because my brother says he's a manager too. Oh, <laughs> that's why I said no, I, I don't know the story. How many I don't managers know. are there? You know what? You know what? <laughs> they they uh, don't work at the same store anymore. Now oh, no? I, I think your brother works on, on the Dodger, Dodger Clubhouse and my brother works at the locker room. What's okay. the difference? Or, 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 or? Well, one of them is just strictly Dodgers and uh. then the other one's like Lids. It has everything. Oh, okay, and it's not in the same location. It's yeah, at City Walk. It's, oh, it's okay. at City Walk. Just so like one, one, one thing that your brother, my brother, said about your brother is that he's his right hand man. Oh, shit. brother, like he needs something, he'll call your brother. He needs help, he's off. Like your brother, like they work well together. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Somebody could support them. So th that's what I'm saying. I, that's where I was going. Do you get discounts? <laughs> Sometimes, but my type of brother is the type of dude that if I call him right now, I go, "Hey, can you get me this?" He'll say, "Yeah," but I won't see the product till like a month later. Oh, like oh, Danny. Yeah, <laughs> my, no, my brother, same, way. same way. Same yeah, way. So, same dude, way. they belong together, same bro. 
So he has that sports background. Yeah, he does. He's 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 had it for a while, man. So that's good. Do you feel like kind of like happy that he gravitated to comedy after you did? So you're kind of like his inspiration? Uh, kinda. 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 <laughs> Cause you know, a uh, uh, older brother's not gonna give a younger brother props. That's, that's not true. Like I give my younger brother props. He's more mature but and more. Sister. Yeah, your uh-huh. sister. As far as like brothers, it'll never true. happen. Like it's gotta well, be, I don't have brothers, but I can. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. I see it with friends that do have brothers. So yeah. But the cool thing is that uh, he's doing everything on his own. Mm-hmm. There you go. He doesn't. He doesn't ask me. Hey, I cook it up. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. a good thing. I mean, he, no one. He, hook, he no does one say I'm Alfred's brother, though. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> nobody. Well, that's uh, how we found that. So yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, nobody hooked me up. I went yeah. out there, and you know what? The crazy story is that when I started comedy, I wasn't driving. So I used to take a bus, bro. I used to take a bus to every spot. Every show? Every show. The, and there wasn't Uber or Lyft back then? No, either. it was just a bus or a taxi. Mm-hmm. Uh, my car had f***ed up, and my stupid ass, uh, after I got kicked out of the academy, I was working for like six months at Old Navy doing loss prevention, and then I quit. I'm like, I'm just going to do f- comedy. And just took a leap of faith. I just took a leap of faith, mm-hmm. bro. Sometimes you have to do that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if I was gonna have anybody. <laughs> I know I was gonna I was gonna do free shows for the four years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I struggled for a while, bro. So comedy has always been in your life, but also the Dodgers. Yes. And of course, we just talked about how the Dodgers broke our hearts in, in 2017. But take me through a, a memory uh, at being at Dodger Stadium when you were younger. Just something that comes to comes to your mind. Okay, I was in. Uh, it was. I think I was in high school, bro. Um, I forgot who they were playing, and we were sitting right behind the uh, the fall pole, but like kind of like in the home run section. Okay. So we're in batting practice. I think they're playing the Giants, dude. And we got eight balls in batting practice. And there was one time that a ball came towards me, and for some reason, I turned around. I turned around and I grabbed the ball, and I felt someone's hand. And then my back was towards them, so I didn't know who it was, and I just strong armed them. And it was an old lady, bro. Oh! And she fucking fell and she started rolling down. Oh. And my back was still towards, so I couldn't see her. So I was all salivating, putting my ball up, and everybody was booing me, dude. Oh! Everybody was booing me. Oh and I still didn't know why until I saw La Vejita. Oh my god. Did you get kicked out? No, hold on, bro. It gets better. Oh. <laughs> and I was greedy as Cause we already had like four or five balls. Like I want another f-ing ball, bro. So my so friend, you, like, my so friend you, was texting me. Yeah, he was like, "Just give her the f-ing ball." <laughs> They're f-ing booing. They go, "Bro, we have f-ing five balls. Relax, bro." And they kept booing and booing. Was, Just give her the ball. <laughs> They're gonna throw shit at us, dude. We're Dodger fans. Who cares? You f-ing made up with old lady, bro. <laughs> and I go, "All right." So I went and I gave her a ball, and everybody started clapping for me. And one of the Dodgers, was, I want to say it was Hollinsworth, bro. He saw. And then after he came back and he gave me a ball, he goes, hey, come here. And he called me over and he gave me a ball. <laughs> so apparently he didn't see when she rolled. <laughs> no, no I, think, I, think, I think they saw. And they saw and they saw that when I gave it back to her. Okay, yeah. so when the lady stopped rolling, what happened? Did she come to you? Did she no, you know? no. She didn't say anything. And I didn't even apologize. Because I was <laughs> embarrassed. And then I just gave her the ball. I was like, here you go. Oh man. Yeah. man. Oh, man. Was that was that on Jumbo Troy? No. no Cuz it was during like batting practice before the game. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. That's the yeah, everyone's I always remember that cuz we went to a game last Wednesday and my friend um, he told me the same thing. Do you remember when you did that? Shit? <laughs> and I go, yeah, but, but I was young, bro. So we have a funny story. Remember when we were doing we were, we were I think we were in Houston or we were so vague. I don't we were somewhere uh-huh. and we went Instagram live. And then you joined on Instagram. Oh my gosh, right? yes. So He's then, so then after you said, he said, you said, you said what he had to say, you know, you had to go. So then we had another guest. And then he was like, where's Alfred? <laughs> He's like, oh, I follow you guys. We're like, oh, wait. He, I think he was in Florida. He's like, and then he was like, wait, you guys, are, where's Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> is that the one that hung up on us? Yeah. Oh my God. So when he realized that out that you were no longer on our IG live with him, he hung up on us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't care about pet tone. I want Alfred. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So getting to that point, um, what does it take for us to work together? Get, do a comedy show for Dodger fans? Dude, I'm down. 
I'm just down. Just tell, tell who, who do you have to talk to? Talk, talk to me right now. We'll set it up, and I, I'm down, bro. Nice. And I, I don't know if I mentioned to one of you guys. I'm down to do anything with you guys, bro. I yeah. love you guys, and I love what you I guys I think do. that'd be cool for our guests. Let's maybe have a we rent a, a, a big salon or a big hall, and, you know, depending on how many people we get. Let's, maybe let's... we could do a charity event. Yeah, have the I'm money down. go towards, like, one that'd of the cool. foundations. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd definitely be cool. That'd and then cool. thank you guys for sending me gear as well. Oh, yay. Yeah, Did it fit? Yeah, everything. I Just hair, don't wash bro. it because then it shrinks. No. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, the hat, the shirts, and the, I think you, know, you guys gave me uh, socks. Yes. And then uh, the little the little, a little bag. I use all of that, man. And I, I travel a lot, so everything came in handy. There you oh, go. Nice. Yeah. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. And everybody always hits me up, bro. Like, you guys are known. You guys are known. I remember I was in Pittsburgh. And I don't know if you guys, you guys own in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, yes. three years ago. Yeah, I don't know if you guys stood at that hotel or whatever. And they were telling me, you guys know Pantone? We stood, at the, say we stood at the Marriott. Maybe that was it. And they were all like, yeah, they stood here and this and that. I'm like, oh. Yeah. yeah. And that that, I want to awesome. say that's one of the best stadiums ever. Best view. Best view. Yeah. I have Atmosphere, AT&T. Wow. No. Atmosphere-wise. Yes. Visual, or PN- PNC. Yeah, right? Because they had a skyscraper in the background, yeah, right? The city. Or oh, the yeah. city. And then the bridge. And, yeah. yeah. It's nicer than the only Petco? thing that. Yes, really? but there's no bars outside. Mm. There's nothing. It's like you have to cross the bridge and then it's like old buildings. Oh. Yeah. I need to travel more with these guys. Yeah, dude. I'm uh, new. Yeah. I'm new. It's one of the best stadiums. I, Bush Stadium. Is it called Bush? St. Yeah. St. Louis? That's yeah. kind of it's kind of cool, too. There's bars everywhere. Right outside the stadium. We're yeah. going, to we're, we're going in here. September. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We, were just, we were just there like a couple of weeks ago, man. And uh, that inside, the, the one that like the inside yes. that has big screen and yes. like, it's just a patio and bars everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually where we're going to be having our pregame. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We went live there on IG and we had, <laughs> we were kind of trying the food and we we're showing everybody where we were going to pregame when we went this year. And my phone fell right in the oh. nachos. <laughs> blame the tequila. Wow. Yeah. There you go. I the, did not blame have the berry mojitos. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, uh, how was Monterey, guys? I know you guys talked about it. Monterey. Already, but how was Monterey, bro? <laughs> it was. How was humid. Monterey Park? It was humid. Monterey, Park. Monterey or Monterey? Monterey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I say Monterey. No. I, Monterey. Yeah, I say, I say. Monterey. So Monterey was cool. It was the cool. The no hitter was amazing. Oh. Amazing. And that was the first night, right? Yes, that was the first night. Best I wish, time. I wish we would have brought out the flag on the first night, but Alex was like, "No, no, no," because if they take it, well, not we have only the that, it was rain, it was raining Saturday. hard, hard. Right. Yeah. So then the flag would have gotten wet, and then it would right, have been right, moist, right. and then yeah. no, it really wasn't raining on Friday. Friday, Saturday. No, it was no, raining. no. Sa- Friday they stopped the game. Yeah, oh, that's that's true. Bit, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you missed the last podcast, you gotta check out the story on how these guys brought in that flag. So. Yeah, yeah I saw started. that you guys were there while I do this. Des yeah, almost died. Man. I almost died. What? Oh. Yeah. That, that was uh, also a guy on TV. with the big belly kind of bopped me, <laughs> and I almost fell and onto Walker Bueller in the dugout. It was pretty bad. Oh. It came out on TV. What? Well, Alex was living his nightmare because you know how he loves fake jerseys. <sighs> Oh, they were everywhere. You love fake jerseys? No, he it's, hates fake jerseys. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I'm right now, bro. Te la vendo. It's a pet peeve. Oh, and okay. I can tell instantly. How can you tell? I, I'm just, I'm a graphic designer. I, I, I Those letters are the official letters and the actual sizes of, that goes on the jerseys. Oh, and the sh- block. Mm. Numbers, también, same thing. The 294, if, if, if Domino Soto is retired two, two, it's exactly like it. Duke Snyder, number four. Gillian, number 19 with the night. It's the same thing. It's the same font. So I, could, with him. I just know that if it's a little bit too thick or too thin or too small, like the jersey on the back, back is three inches. The big number is eight inches. Number in the front is five inches. Females is four. I right. know all the little details. Did you work in retail as far as they no, found out? No, it's just I used to, I used to um, customize jerseys. Oh, shit. You would bring me a jersey, you know, how your brother and my brother, they put the jersey on the name. Yeah. I didn't I, know they could do fake. I didn't know they, they couldn't do, like, um, fake names. Mm-hmm. They could if you just keep it on the local. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm going to say couldn't because my brother's still not to tell everybody. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so that's how I got into it. I used to, I taught myself how to sew. Danny has never done that for us, FYI. Yeah, never. my brother either. I just, I, uh, he told me no, so I went somewhere else. There, and, by the book. We and, went to Pacific. Yeah, me Huntington too. Park. <laughs> and I had a I had a, a an original Dodger jersey with an original uh, um, World Series patch, and I put Lonzo's ball number in the back. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I was at first I was like I'm down because I'm a I'm a hardcore Laker fan too, mm-hmm. and then I was like oh, I don't know because that's Tommy Lasorda's number as well, and right. I did, and I did it anyways. And 
bad. I'm f***ing regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, bro, in October, he was still like, the season hasn't started. It was still good. I, saw, the hype. I, I, dude, it was no hype. He was good in college. He was he, his freshman year at 18. He let the he let up uh, the NCAA in assists, bro. He was good, and um, I fell for it, dog. I don't even. Kuzma is the one that's really bad. Yeah, yeah, I should have done that. Number zero, bro. <laughs> Who did you say was number nine, folks? Uh, no, um, Gillian's 19. Mm. So nine. I would have said Mickey Hatcher for nine, bro. That's, catcher. that's the 88 World Series catcher. Yeah. No. Was he a catcher? He was a first baseman. Yeah, Rick Dempsey was a catcher. And Mike Sosha. Bro, oh, fact my, check my, number my, two, my, dog! My. <laughs> hey, you guys want me to do this? You guys are my guests, though. Welcome to... <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> You said it all. You said it all. I'm just quiet over here in my corner. No, I just... I just, I just <laughs> love the Dodgers, and I know, like... I remember the old school players like Mickey Hatcher, Mike Mike Marshall. Yeah, Mickey Hatcher, outfielder, first baseman, third baseman. So yeah, yeah. Rick Dempsey and, and Social were the catchers. In Social was eighty eight. Yeah, uh, okay. and eighty one as well. Him and uh, Stevie Yeager. Yeager. Yeah. MVP. MVP, bro. Try MVP. Have you guys ever got any Dodgers or? or... We just no, started. This we just is started. your. You're our fourth guest yeah, in studio. Oh, yeah. We just started. We just yeah. Yeah. And I, I want to thank you guys for having me, bro. And if you guys want to do a show, I'm down, bro. I'm down. And oh, how planning time. wise, how long does it take? No, what, what do you, what do we need from you? Just a date? Yeah, a date. I'll and tell you what, right now. Six months in advance? No, no, I'll tell you right now. Well, well we're setting the the show right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> June, I'm free a lot of June, and I'm free a lot of July, and I'm free a lot of. <gasps> we're good in July. In we're August. good in July. We're good Late in July. July. Late, Late July. July. I'll tell you right now. Just don't do it the twenty seventh. That's my only request. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm the twenty seventh. I can't do it either. I'll be in Buffalo, bro. Bam. But July and August, and even in September, I'm still good. Cause uh, July, August, and September, perfect. We're uh, write that down. we're gonna work on a uh, Gabriel got a, a Netflix sitcom, so we're working on that in September. Hey, Netflix is where it's at oh, right yeah, now. Bro. Netflix. Well, that's what we were talking about uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the previous mm -hmm. um, podcast episode where mm -hmm. streaming is getting bigger. A lot of cable companies are losing their subscribers because people are going through the streaming system. Exactly. Cool. I mean, it's a lot more better, too. It's Yeah, it's it's on your own, which is why DVRs were so popular because mm -hmm. you don't watch it now at whatever right. show, 8 o'clock. You don't watch it at 8 o'clock. You mm -hmm. watch it two days later at 4. So mm -hmm. let's shoot for late July. I'm in, bro. How many yeah. friends are you bringing? Whatever you want me to, dog. We'll, we'll I'll bring 294. We'll, we'll, we'll coordinate <laughs> nice. something, like um, and then you will get a fly out there. Let's get some venues and let's start playing. Mm -hmm. I'm so, in, dude. Thank you. Guys. I have a quick no, question. So Fl Fluffy is is a personal friend of yours. Who else is a personal friend of yours? Like like Fluffy status. Jay Hernandez. Jay Hernandez. So we have a couple of questions that we ask our first guests. Desiree, you wanna you wanna kick things yes. off? Yes. The first question, very important. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Uh, nay. Oh no, my Jesus. God. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's two in a row that we, we have no show. Coletti. Coletti. That's right, Coletti. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, we have the nice. Coletti Club. Okay, we love pineapple on pizza oh, here. Yes, yes. Absolutely. And I love pineapple, and when I eat it on pizza, I take it off. <gasps> oh, my God. Because, hold on, hold on. Because a lot of people eat their pineapple cold, and then some people eat it hot. Um, I'll let you ask I, this I, again. I did, I did, I, I'll ask you right now, but I did. Uh, I, I got my bro my heart broken about two weeks ago. Uh, I got a pineapple pizza, and my little my, my daughter was two years and a half. Mm -hmm. I thought she, I thought she was gonna eat the pineapple. <laughs> no, nope. she took it off. Right? Little punk, I saw her just taking up the pineapple, and I was like, you know really? what? When I was younger, I did the same thing. I because well, you like pineapple cold. Yes, yeah, I, you like and it's yeah. a weird taste yeah. to like. So but just, growing up, I love it on pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna give her time. You're two years old. You don't know what's right. Let her palate develop a little bit. All right, the next question is you're in a uh, a boat on a raft uh -huh. and you have jay hernandez you stay hernandez right yeah. and fluffy and you well, can only save one gabriel so, why why oh, why because mm -hmm. yeah, i'm closer to him now and <laughs> he's the one that pays my checks no, pays my checks <laughs> does it really say gabriel glasses or it's like no, no it says fluffy ink fluffy ink oh, oh yeah. that's so cool <laughs> so um yeah gabriel why can't we be fluffy 294 yeah we can do something for the <laughs> show. We we will incorporate. We'll... I went to high school with Jay Hernandez. Did you? Really? Yeah, we went to uh, to Montebello High School together. Oh, nice. And uh, 
he uh, we just recently hooked up. He hit me up on Instagram, and we we have a relationship again. He went to my Staples Center show, okay, and we hung out. Very, Very cool. cool. Yeah. Cool what guy. show? What shows do you have coming up besides the um, Friday, Baby Saturday, Baby. and Sunday? We'll be at um, Elac East LA College, June nineteenth. I think it's a Wednesday. June nineteenth, guys. If you are not going on our Chicago trip, please definitely hit that up. One of our employees, Jack, Jack, is Jackie here? Can we get her on the on the show? Jackie, Jackie's from East LA, and let's, um, let's give her a test. She, a East LA test. Um, she called me out last time because I was wearing an East Lowe shirt. Right. Come and here, I, Jackie. You're, 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 you're on our podcast. So, meet uh, Alfred. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, talk to the mic. So I'm telling nice. Alfred that you called me out last time because I was wearing an East Lowe shirt and she goes, you can't wear that. And I'm like, I can't. I went to Griffith for three <laughs> years during the days that there's riots. I could claim a, I could claim HP. This is where I grew up. I could claim East Lowe's because I went to Griffith. And then I could claim Boyle Heights because I went to Bravo. So I, can I claim East Lowe's? Being that I went to, can I work Being East Lowe shirts? Born in HP, though. And when you went to Griffith, you were still living in HP. Yeah. Did you ever live in East Lowe's? Never. No, don't, don't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. No. But I spend most. You I, spend, I spend most of my time since East LA. Uh, East LA. Uh, J- Jackie, can you get closer to the mic and say, "I told you, please." I told you so. You can't, bro. I told you so. Yeah, you. Okay. <laughs> what it is? What it is about people from East LA? We're like, uh, we get mad when people do it. And what, what, one of my pet pieces is, is when someone from Boyle Heights says, I'm from East LA. You're not. You're from Boyle Heights. You know? <laughs> You'd never hear someone from East LA say, I'm from Boyle Heights. So tell her where never. you're going to be performing. East LA College. I heard you in the back. Yeah. yeah. All, uh, when she said that, I was which like, is, oh, Which is there. Monterey Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monterey Park. No, no offense to Boyle Heights, but East LA is kind of popular. Or it's popular because of the movie. Born in East LA. So is Boyle Heights. No, Why would Fast and the Furious start in Boyle Heights? They don't, they don't have a chant. They don't have I a song. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, that, that, that doesn't make sense though, bro. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> People from Montebello don't say, hey, I'm from East LA. No, but yeah, yeah. Right, right. And That's Montebello, is, it's connected with East Lowe's as well. So is uh, Monterey Park. But just the people from Boyle Heights, they always say, I'm from East LA. Maybe because they think uh, East LA is more popular and more famous. So they, they don't want to say Boyle Heights. But that's always the same thing that I get to tell my friend. You're not from any cellar, you're from Boyle Heights. <laughs> but I think it's more of a, like a first generation. I yeah. think like more ge- uh, second generation Mexicans or whatnot, they say Boyle Heights now. They don't say uh, East Coast. Because Boyle Heights is getting more hipsters. And, right. Uh, I'll stop and, wearing my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Shirts, my, my, first, uh, my first comedy we'll CD a, is um, called Straight Out of East Los. Straight Out of East Los? Yeah. Straight Out of East That's cool. And people used to talk because... Uh, I, I grew up in East LA and then I moved to Montebello and then I moved back to East LA, but I went to high school in Montebello. Saw so my friends from East LA talk, but you didn't even go to fucking high school here. Like, but I fucking live here. And there's no East Coast High, just that TV show. But there was, there was, there was only Garfield because Roosevelt and, uh, and Boyle Heights. Yeah. Man, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, 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 any time, bro. I mean, I mean, we, I mean, we're gonna bring him back already for a show in July, but we, we gotta do this again. Anytime, and and I'm gonna have a, a show. Uh, we start filming uh, next Tuesday. It's gonna be a YouTube, and it's gonna it's gonna be live. On, I'm sorry, YouTube, and then a podcast as well. It's me and another comedian named Eric Rivera, and oh, it's kind nice. of it's a uh, it's a uh, it's called um, Your Team Sucks, and, and we're gonna do. He's East Coast, <gasps> so he's off in New York. And, and he's Puerto Rican, so I'm West Coast, and I'm all the West Coast and Mexican. So we're just gonna talk talk about the West Coast That's and really talk good. about the, ra- the the Dodgers and I the Lakers. I feel so torn right now. Yeah, I feel so torn. And I'd love to have you all three, of you, all four, of you guys on on the show. That would be oh, good. So we could f- a tag team and f- talk to them all for the whole time. Let's do it. Is, is this gonna be like a sit down or like on the streets? No, it's sit a sit down. The first. Oh, one's I was gonna, gonna say if it was on the streets, can we like roll by with some water balloons and throw them and they just take <laughs> <take> off? <them? laughs> yeah, because he talks about the Dodgers all the f- time, bro, all the time. So it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be a good show because he has a different, uh, a different view. Oh, and he's, of course. And he's an East Coast and yeah. he's Puerto Rican, mm-hmm. you know. And people love people love t- people that talk to each other. People it's just a, love arguments now, bro. It's part of the sport, you know. That's why I, I don't like it when it gets to the violence. Right. It, just mm-hmm. keep it at the at the trash talking. Trash talking is part of the game. Yeah. Friendly banter is always good. Of course. Yeah. You know. So. Right. Right. And thank you guys again, bro. And uh, 
I appreciate it. And let's do that show. No, but, but follow my man. Comedy show, dude. It's, I'm gonna spell it correctly now. It's Alfred Robles. It's uh, Alfred, just the way it's you know, spelled. Uh, A L F R E D, and then Robles. R O B L E S. You can follow us also on Pantone294. That's a Twitter and Instagram. Pretty Bird with two T's, two Y's, two R's. And Alex is A-L-E-X-U-U-R. And myself is Gabe Real Sports. Till next time, thank you for listening to the Pantone294 podcast. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>